All right, um, it's going to be a quick tutorial video on how to set up an ingenious wireless bridge to run devices that are plugged into the wireless bridge, but to bridge a, wire, a wireless connection between an access point or wireless router to the wire, wireless bridge and be able to run devices on the other side of that. So. Uh, as you can see right now, I am connected to our wireless here, and I am using an IP scanner and terminal to check that and check the IP addresses. So right here in terminal, I am actually pinging our gateway, which is the router. I'm going to just leave that and let that go while we are working. So a couple tools I'm going to use here is uh, terminal. Um, I'm going to use an IP scanner. And I'm just using the free version of IP scan, and I'm going to use Firefox. And I use Firefox as my browser just because of it handles JavaScript better, and some of these um, setups use JavaScript. So, and the browser for the ingenious to set it up use JavaScript and so Firefox just works better so if you look at the well the IP scanner you see our network router right here that is our D-Link router it is not a wireless router it is a wired router Trendnet access point is what we're using for wireless and you can see the ingenious wireless bridge and if you notice the consecutive IP addresses that's what I want to use so I'm gonna go ahead and blow this um, wireless bridge up and we're gonna set it back up so here goes nothing I'm gonna take this off okay I am resetting that I was just holding down the reset button there I'm gonna plug this in to my wired connection I'm gonna turn wireless off and you can see that immediately we lose our router so the goal here is to get that back and we also want to make sure that we are using 3 192.168.0.3 which I think I may have not reset that thing yes okay now one thing to know when that came back up we're actually not seeing our router anymore we are seeing the ingenious um, wireless bridge so that is actually when we type in 192.168.0.1 instead of hitting our router now we're hitting the wireless bridge I want to go ahead and go into expert mode log in there looking for system and one of the things that we're going to have to use actually I'm going to use an IP address scanner and to find we're going to have to actually find this thing again because it'll reset the IP address so um, operation mode we want to change this to this is important client bridge apply okay it's going to restart that's the first thing we do is change that to client mode takes a few minutes or a minute or so to reboot itself all right log back in <clears throat> go to network LAN change this to three apply Okay. Now we want to change this to three. That's what we're looking for. Okay. Log back into three. 
Now we want to go to wireless, basic. We want to do a site survey. This is where we're going to go and actually connect to our wireless. Add to profile. Save. Close that thing up. We want to click connect. Probably going to, once we do that, probably going to lose three. Let's see if it changes the IP address. Okay. Yeah, I think we just lost that IP address. Yep, okay. Now, what we got to do is actually find that IP address. 12. Okay. It assigned us a 12 IP address. I don't want it to be 12. I want it to be 3. So we're going to change that back to 3. Static. 3. Everything should be right. Hit apply. 3 should be back. It's going to take 40 seconds. Within 40 seconds, this should start. There we go. And we are back. We'll change this back to 3. And log in. And we are back. And if we look at system, actually go down to tools. I'm sorry. Status. There we go. All right, and we are back. And if we do this right here, there we go. There's all three of our, and we should be able to check our speed. Let's just go to Google. Speak easy. Speed tests. Let's test the speed real quick. Now I am plugged in. So this is no wireless. I'm plugged into a wireless bridge, and which is con is catching our wireless signal, and it's sending it through an Ethernet cable. So, as you can see, we are working and we can actually now when we ping dot one we're pinging our router so now when I go to dot one I'm gonna hit our router D-Link router there you have it boom Set up. Excellent. Okay.